Hello everyone, so I am back again with another video. So today I will be teaching you how you can send email through Linux terminal. Okay, but before starting there are some prerequisites that you should know. So for that I will just open my VS code from here and I have some points jotted down. So here you can see you need to have these things so that you will be able to send email through terminal. Okay, it is Linux terminal not CMD. So now here you can see the first is you should have the mail package installed. Okay, so here you can see we will be using this mail command to send the email through Linux. So for that you need to have this mail package installed in your machine. Okay. So how will you check if you have the mail package or not? So for that I'll open my terminal. So here you can see I've already opened it. You can open it with Control Alt T also. And I'll just increase the font size over here. I hope now it is visible to you. Now to check the mail is installed or not like the mail package. I'll simply type mail space double hyphen and then version okay when i hit enter you can see over here it showed me the version of this mail so it means that the package is already installed okay if it was not installed it would have shown something like mail is not recognized or something like that so if it is not installed then you can run this command like this uh, command i'll just write it over here sudo apt get and then install and then write the package name okay so, so this will install this mail package okay when i hit enter it will ask for the permission because this sudo is for giving uh, administrative permission uh, like temporarily okay so i'll have to give my password over here and once i give my password it will start re installing it you can see over here but it is showing that it cannot locate the package that is because i just made a mistake over here it should be mail utils okay and not only mails now when I hit enter you can see it is installing okay so here you can see it is already installed that is why it is showing that zero newly installed if it was uh, installed for you then it will be like one newly installed or something like that okay so after installing this mail package you need to check that you have the email credentials or not okay so here you can see you should have an app password okay and note here I'm saying app password and not the Google password okay what we generally do we generally use the Google password to log into the Gmail correct but you should not use that okay it will not allow you to log in through this SMTP server okay so to do that you need to have this app password so how will you have this app password let me show it to you in the browser so here you can see so this is my Google account. Okay, so here you can see this is the Google account. I'll be showing you to test the email. So this is the Google account you can see over here. And when you click on this, like manage your Google account, you will come to this page. Okay, but if you directly uh, go to your mail, this is the mail. So there also you can see you will have this account option. Correct. So when you click on that, you will get that go to my Google account. Okay, this one, this option when you click that, you will come to this security page or you can see this uh, Google account home page. Okay, so you will be uh, redirected to this home page. But to create the app password, you need to come to the security tab. Okay, so I'm clicking on the security and here you can see it is saying app password created. That is because I already created it. Okay, so I have another Gmail account. I'll be showing it uh, there only like how you should create that. This is my new Gmail account. I'll create it just to show you. So here you can see when I scroll down, you have an option uh, like two-step verification. So this is turned off for me. Okay, so you need to first turn that on. I'll click here and I'll get started with it and I'll provide all the details. And after I provide all the details, then I'll be creating the app password. Okay, I've already provided the details. Now I'm clicking on this turn on option. So after the verification step is turned on then I'll click on this arrow and go back to the previous window. Now here you will see you will have the option for password like app password okay. So here you can see the app password is none. So I'll just click on that. Now after you provide your credentials it will generate a 16 digit password for you okay. So you need to copy that. Here 
you can see you'll have to select the app like for which application you want to uh, make the password or you can create the password okay i'll select mail from here and i'll select the device as other and name it anything just i'll just name it as um, linux test okay and click on generate here is the code that is created for me so i'll have to copy this code and then i'll have to enter this code in the smtp con configuration file okay i'll show it to you like when i will be configuring the uh, emails and the details that time i'll show it to you for now i'm just keeping this uh, code copied okay now once copied click on done here you can see the password is created for you now just click on this arrow and it will go back to the uh, previous page and after this let's see what else do you need to send the email okay so next point is imap should be enabled okay so what is imap imap is nothing but you can say it's a type of access protocol like it is the internet message access protocol it basically accesses your message and then sends it to you so whatever message is stored like you do not store it in your local or something it is stored in a server correct so you can log in from any device and any browser and you can access your mail correct so this imap what it does is it fetches the messages from the server and then shows it to you or in your local okay so this is what this imap does so if this is not enabled then it cannot access those messages that we are sending through the terminal correct so that is why this needs to be enabled so to enable this i'll again once again go to this browser and show it to you from where you can enable this so here you can see this is my email okay here you can see you have this settings icon so when i click on this settings icon you will see over here you will get an option called see all settings so click on that now here you can see these are the tabs so forwarding and pop imap okay so click on this tab and here you can see the status imap is enabled okay so this is okay but sometimes what happens is imap will be disabled like if this will be clicked so to enable that you have to just click on this enable option and then click on save changes okay so this will enable the imap okay i'll just close it for now so now the next point is you can see over here we need to make changes in this smtp configuration file okay so this is the file i was talking about so so we will be adding the email address and the password and everything in this file okay so how can you go to this file you can see the path over here we'll have to enter this path in the terminal so i'll open the terminal and then i'll show it to you okay so now here i will type the path okay so the path was etc and then ssmtp and then dot conf okay but this is the path but i need to access this file and edit that correct so to do that i'll use this nano command so what is this nano nano is an editor which helps you to open and edit the file okay so when i click enter so here you can see it is saying that this path is not accessible that is because i did not uh, write the sudo command okay i'll just exit this nano editor first so here you will see i did not write this sudo and i am logged into this user account that is my uh, aditi account okay and not the root account so to get the admin privileges i'll have to use the keyword or the command sudo okay and then i'll write nano and then i'll give the path okay i'll write ssmtp and then again ssmtp.conf okay and now when i click enter here you can see i have entered this configuration file and here you will see i have already uh, the details is already given over here that is because i was testing before this video you need to add this line like the server should be your email address or the email from which you will be sending the mail okay and then this mail hub will be smtp.gmail.com and then the port you can give any port but uh, i give this 587 port so you can even use this port and then comes the auth user or the email address that you will be sending so you'll have to give your email address again over here 
and then comes this auth pass or the password so here you can see i have the 16 digit uh, password or the app password so in this place only you'll have to paste that password that i made you copy okay so here you can see i already have entered the password over here and then comes this use TLS. So this is basically saying the uh, server or the SMTP server that the message or the mail should be sent through secure layer or you can say the mail should be encrypted and then sent. Okay. So that is why we are using this as yes. Okay. And same thing is with this start TLS also. So this is the command which tells the server that the connection should be secure and if it is insecure then convert that to secure connection and then send the email okay so this is what it does but you can use any one or you can use both also it doesn't matter and then you should write this line like rewrite the domain like from which domain the mail is coming like this should be gmail.com because the address you are writing over here is gmail's address okay like there are many uh, domains right like uh, for email only there are outlook there are mail there are gmail there are many many domains so you need to specify that over here and after that you can see over here the host name should be same you do not need to change anything in the host name i'm using this virtual box inside that i'm using this linux that's why my host name is virtu uh, Diti virtual box so you do not need to change anything over here and the last line over here you can see from line override yes that means that user has the access to write the from uh, parameter or you can say you can really write from email right in the email uh, body or when we compose an email there is an email address where like from where it is coming there is another field which says to like which email is going to correct that is why this is yes so you can specify your own email address there okay now save this file like control s and then click on control x to quit this file these are the things you need to have before sending an email through this terminal okay now let's see what is the next point over here so after configuring this smtp file you need to send the email okay now here you can see there are two methods like you can send normal email also you can send an email with attachment okay so i'll teach you both the syntax i'll open my terminal again and here to send the normal email what i'll do is first i'll write this mail command then i'll write hyphen s this hyphen s stands for like the subject is optional okay so if you want to give subject you can just write something like this suppose i'm writing a uh, subject test okay you can write like this or you can leave it also it doesn't matter like you have to give this uh, symbol okay hyphen s okay and after you give this subject click on enter now here you can see it is asking to like which email address you want to send this email to so i'll use my second email address that is this one where to aditi at the rate gmail.com so this email will be sent to this and from where from my linux that i showed you that email address correct so that from that email address it will be sent to this web tools aditi okay and if you want to add a cc you can add but i'm skipping it for now and next will be the body okay so here you will type your email body so i'm writing over here this is email body if you like my video like share and subscribe okay and after writing the email body click on enter and then click ctrl d once you click ctrl d the email will be sent okay here you can see the email is sent so i'll show it to you in the browser to verify that so you can see this is my uh, linux email so i'll not open this one i'll open the other one that is this one so here you can see this is my email that I have sent to. So this is my uh, official email. This one, left to aditi aditi gmail.com. Okay. So in this email, you see I have received one email. Okay. So I'll just go ahead and open this email. So here you can see this is the subject, subject of my email. That is, this is what I have written in the terminal, correct? And this is the email body you can see over here. I have written this message only in the body, correct? And from here you can see from is this Linux and to 
who is this web to Saditi? Okay. So I'll write the same command. I'll just uh, use my arrow key. So this is the command. And after writing the subtext, I'll give space. And then I'll give another hyphen and write capital A. And always remember, this is case sensitive. Okay. So if you write small a, it is something else. And if you write capital A, it is something else. Okay. So now A means attachment. And then give a space. And then I'll give the file name. Okay. Suppose I have a file called test.txt. Then this will be attached. And after giving this attachment, then I'll write the email to which I want to send. Okay. But before sending this attachment, I have to create a file. But what I'll do is I'll use this nano keyword again and create a new file. I'll write new file dot txt and enter. And in this uh, file, I'll write this is an attachment. Okay, and I'll save this file and then I'll exit. And now I'll write the command, which is mail hyphen s and then the subject. And this time I'll write subject test two. And here I'll write attachment. That is my file name, which is new file dot txt. Sorry, yeah, txt. And after that, I'll give the email. So I'll again give the same email, webtoetsaditiadrate.gmail.com. Okay. And when I click enter, it is asking for CC. I'll skip that for now. Then, and then I'll click enter. And then I'll click control D. Okay. The mail is already sent. So I'll verify in the browser. Let me refresh this page. So here you can see this is the email and this is the attachment. So let's open this. Here you can see it came from that email address, the Linux one, and it is sent to this web to the email. And this is the attachment. So I can view this attachment also. Let me click on that. Here you can see this was the content inside that attachment, correct? So this is what it is showing. So I hope this video was helpful to you. Also, I'll provide these all steps in a PDF file and I'll attach the file link in the description box. So you can go there and access this. It will be easier for you to follow. And if you like my video, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Also, if you face any difficulty sending email or any concern, please feel free to in the comment section or you can email me also. I'll surely help you out with your problem. Okay. I'll be back again with another video. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.